Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create an icon like this, and I apologize if this tutorial is not the best because I just filmed this whole tutorial and realized I did not have the audio turned on on my screen recorder. So, um, anyway, if you do not want to do this tutorial, I'm going to include a PSD file that you can download, um, and you can insert your own um, text or image right here and um, but you will need to I will have two versions you can use I will have a PSD file that is compatible with Photoshop and only Photoshop because I'll be using layer styles with that um, and if you that way um, if you have Photoshop you can adjust the color and everything um, and I will have another version with using GIMP that is compatible with GIMP um, but unfortunately, you cannot edit the color of the actual icon, so you cannot edit what color that part is. So, sorry to any GIMP users out there, but uh, layer styles from Photoshop do not work in GIMP. So, I'm going to show you how to make an icon like this, or this, or like this. So, go ahead and open up a new image. and get your elliptical tool or your uh, ellipse tool and um, press shift on your keyboard while you are dragging out the circle and this lets you create a perfect circle so something like that now right click on your shape layer that you just created and select rasterize layer now we're going to be applying some layer effects, or uh, some layer styles, so double click on this layer. Um, double click on it, and the layer styles dialog should, or the layer styles window should pop up. Check drop shadow, and put in something like this for your settings. Now, depending on the size of your image, then um, it might be different, but this is just what mine is right now so um, but depending on the size of your image this might be different you might need to make the size of the drop shadow larger or smaller but my opacity is on 75 my angle oops you can leave the default angle because it doesn't really matter right now um, distance is 0 spread is 10 and size is 18 then make sure you check inner glow Opacity is 55, uh, color is on black, um, and size is on 65. And then if you go to color overlay, you can just use this to adjust what color you want the circle to be. And then just click OK. Now make a new layer by clicking this little icon in the bottom of your layers window. And grab your paintbrush tool um, and make sure the foreground color is on white and make sure you choose a large fuzzy brush and just click once in the middle and then go back to your layers window and you can adjust the opacity of this a little I'm going to put mine to about 65 and then create another new layer and now press control on your keyboard control and then press um, the icon in your shape um, in the shape layer so click that icon right there like that and that just creates a nice selection around the shape then go to select modify contract um, depending on the size of your image you might need just this number but mine is on 15 and then go ahead and grab your elliptical marquee tool and make sure up in your options little box up here make sure you've sub uh, selected subtract from selection and now just um, do something about like this something like that um, and just um, make a selection that kind of looks like this for a nice gloss effect um, you might want to adjust it a little however now grab your gradient tool make sure your foreground color is on white and get the gradient foreground to transparent and then just drag your gradient about like this to there or something like this and then select deselect 
Then make another new layer, and again press Control and then click on the shape icon. And then again go to Select, Modify, Contract, and just um, <clears throat> contract by the same number as you did earlier. And grab your elliptical marquee tool, and instead of at the top making a, a gloss effect, we're going to make a smaller gloss effect near the bottom. And once you have your selection made, just grab your gradient tool again and stroke that gradient across like that. And then select, deselect. And now you have your glossy icon made more or less. Now you just have to add your text or um, shape in the custom shape right there. Um, now I don't really like the gloss I did. They look too much alike. But, you know, you can um, kind of adjust this tutorial around. That's more or less how to make a pretty simple looking glossy icon.